Welcome to FixWave. Today we will show you how to install and activate the software, import and patch files and save them so they can be written back to the vehicle. How to submit a support ticket and how to remove DTCs. Let's begin. Once purchased you will receive the FixWave software via a downloadable link from an email from Vizu. Firstly, click download and then move the downloaded FixWave.exe executable file to your desktop. Please then notify Vizu via the following email, info at vizu.com, and we will activate the software for you. Now, unplug all your dongles and close any remote access software that you have running. Once you've done this, log into the software and this will register the laptop to the software and then you're ready to begin. To begin with, you need to import the read file you have just read from the vehicle via whichever tuning tool you may have used. Ensure that the auto detect box has been selected. This should help you importing your file as it will enable FixWave to automatically detect which vehicle and ECU your file is from. Click the three dots located here and it will open the file menu. Navigate to your selected original read file and click open. The software will then take a few moments to try and detect the correct ECU, vehicle and any other options that might be available. In this case, the software has automatically detected that this file is from a BMW Mini and the ECU is an EDC16 CP35. If for any reason these are not populated after scanning the file, then you can click them and select the correct vehicle and ECU from each drop down menu. Below the Choose Module section, there are all the options FixWave currently has available to remove from the ECU file. In this case, we have DPF, Swirl Flaps, TVA, EGR, VMAX and Lambda Delete. For instance, if we want to remove DPF or EGR, select the checkboxes, then click Patch. The software will then automatically patch your file with these selected options. Once the file has been patched, a save box will appear with a pre-populated save name, which includes the alterations you have made. In this example, fixwave-bmw-mini-edc16cp35-bmw-original-dpf-egr-no-chk. The software doesn't perform any checksums, so you will have to do that yourself if needed. Save this file into the correct place in your file database, ready to upload back to the car via your tuning tool. If there are any disconnections or removals which need to be made, they will show in the bottom right hand corner of the log section. In this case there are no disconnections mentioned, so we shouldn't have to disconnect the DPF sensors or our EGR. If you import your file and the option you want in the module section is not available, it doesn't mean that FixWave cannot perform them. Open a support ticket with FixWave by clicking the Support Request button in the top right hand corner and select New Ticket. From here, select the options we want to remove and add any additional notes. For example, if you have any extra fault codes you want to ensure are removed from the file and click Submit. This will start a ticket with FixWave support team and will be logged in the requests window. You can usually expect an email reply within approximately 20 to 30 minutes. They will not send you a file, they will just update the FixWave system with a solution that you have requested. At this point, all you need to do is re-upload the file, select the option and press Patch. If you're only looking to delete DTCs from a file, you can speed up the scanning process when importing a file by selecting DTC only checkbox next to the auto detect checkbox. By selecting the checkbox, it will only scan for an available DTC table for you to remove any fault codes. Uncheck any fault codes you wish to remove. If there are multiple of a code, it will auto select all of them. You can also search for a DTC in the search bar if you're looking for a specific DTC rather than scrolling through the provided table. Click patch and this will open up the save box again with a pre-populated save name which includes the alterations you have made. Save this file into the correct place in the file database.